Hi, this is Mark on the sales engineering team at Jitterbit. I'm here to give you a quick tour of some of the essential features of the Jitterbit Harmony platform that promote collaboration among teams, and in particular, taking a close look at our global connections, our live collaboration and project history features. First of all, starting with the global endpoint connections, where you can see here, I've already pre-added NetSuite, SAP and Salesforce, but essentially global connections let you create a single connection at the topmost level of the Harmony platform that can then be reused throughout other projects. So to add a connection, if I click add here, we're given a list of, as you'd expect, our pre-built connectors and of course the generic connectors like connecting to emails or databases or HTTP endpoints. Regardless, whichever connector we click, uh, if, as we go through the workflow, we can choose which environment or environments that this connection will apply to. We add the credentials, and then once done, it will be added as a global connection. So now when anyone in this organization or this Jitterbit instance creates a new project, let's do that here, they will be given access to those connections by default. So you can see we have three endpoints all related to the global connections that we created, meaning you obviously don't need to recreate those uh, connections or if those connections change, you don't need to go into every project and update them. You just update them in one place and anyone with permissions can update them. And then that's reflected in all projects that use these global connections. The second area I'd like to look at is the live collaboration side of things. So what I have here is two browser windows, so representing two different users collaborating on the same project within Jitterbit. And you can see at the top right, we've got editing this project, M Lovelady, and again, Mark Lovelady. So two completely separate users. And you could have multiple collaborators as well, but in this case, we're just using two. If one of those collaborators were to make a change, so let's go here and add a script. Notice on the top screen that that's automatically appearing live. We'll give this script a name call it log script one and then save that and as soon as I save that noticing that it's also saved for the other collaborators so you've got uh, live collaboration and the ability to act on real-time feedback or design decisions as you're building out the integrations without having to go in one by one and on the same note where new components are created like scripts or activities those components can be reused. So on the left-hand side, I could select my logger script and drag that into the interface and just reuse that at any point, even in new workflows. Lastly, talking about the project history, where if I first of all go to settings and under deploy, we can require comments and tags when deploying. And it just means that when changes are made and deployed, we're forced to add a tag to that. So let's call this production v1.5. And I'll just do the same for the comment. That's now being deployed with those comments and tags. So you've got a level of change control, where if we now go into project history, first of all, you can see exactly who made what changes and when. But for those tagged and commented deployments, those are highlighted here. You could even filter them to only show deploys. And it just means very easily if there's been a breaking change or an application has been rolled back and therefore you need to roll back integration to a point, you can very easily identify which version of your deployment you need to go back to based on the tags and comments. Obviously dependent on the quality of those comments, but it gives you that control. So those are the three key areas that I wanted to highlight today regarding collaboration, the global connections, the live collaboration and the project history. Thank you.